I am Tankfish, and I got oh, yeah, yeah. If we win, I'll sit on your face. Understood. Say no more. Get over here. Just give it Welcome to the strongest battleground. No, if of a game. Happening? And I don't mean it in a bad way. It's a fun fest. Sort of like the Assyrian Civil War. Remember that Undertale fighting game called Soul Shatterer? It's basically that, but with One Punch Man. Of course, for gameplay purposes, certain characters have to be nerfed so people wouldn't get blasted to bits when you click your left mouse button. Now before we continue, I need to get that bag. That's right, it's sellout time. Today's sponsor is Oprah GX. Currently, the only browser in existence that can fry your brain. And leave you foaming on the floor. It has a lot of customizations. You can change the theme and color of your browser, add a background music, switch up the keyboard sounds, and even change f***ing browser sound effects. Create your own ultimate browsing experience. If you're too lazy to customize it yourself, you can always visit the GX store for some ready-to-consume mods. I myself have cooked up something. It's designed to give you a pleasant browsing experience that is constantly interrupted by brain aneurysm. You can also fully customize which feature comes from which mods, so the choice is all yours. But Opera GX is not only fun to use, it also has a lot of very useful functional features. If your computer looks like this, when you're gaming and listening to music on Chrome at the same time, then you can use the RAM and CPU limiter feature to reduce the resource used by your browser and improve your gaming performance. If you live in one of those places with a certain website blocked, or if you got IP banned, worry not. There's a free built-in VPN and with just one click, suddenly you live in Canada now. If you're doing your homework but you want to game instead, there's f***ing ChatGPT integrated into the browser and it will literally do your homework for you. Truly a browser for the gamers. Now you might be thinking, this is cool and all, but switching browsers is a pain in the ass. Worry not, you can literally import everything from Google Chrome to Opera within a few minutes. So uh, download Opera GX today. Link in the description. <laughs> Imagine Mortal Kombat or Super Smash Bros, but it's open world and free for all. That means goofy sh** can happen. For example, while you're comboing the sh** out of some random blocks up, a dude playing Genos on the other side of the map could pop his ult and giga blast half of the map, which unfortunately includes you and the blocks that you're fighting. So now, both you and this blocks get angry at the Genos player and decide to team up on him because he interrupted your honorable 1v1. However, after beating the shit out of the Genos player, his opponent gets pissed because he doesn't like the fact that his 1v1 is getting interrupted by two retards. So he teams up with the Genos player and fight back. Hence, you end up in this weird 2v2 that after some epic fighting, when all of you are at very low health, some random ass kid comes in and kills you all because he wants more kill on the leaderboard to boost his ego. So now all four of you are pissed and started hunting him, spawn killing the shit out of this kid. Eventually, you made him rage quit, but that's not where the story ends. Because after he left, you four tracked him down SEAL Team 6 style with the funny plugin so you can keep spawn killing this poor man. And after one hour of carnage and calling this probably nine years old slurs that would even offend a Call of Duty lobby, he left, never to return. Congrats, you have permanently mentally scarred a nine years old, and now all three of your former enemies are your best horrendo. And that's the experience you'll get from playing this f***ing game. I mean, at least the main game. You can play ranked 1v1 or 2v2 if you're f***ing sweat or if you're boring. The game mechanism is simple, just like any other fighting games, except Black Magic 2. What the f*** is this? You just need to block and dodge. Jokes overused, I don't care. You click M1 to attack, F to block, and Q to dash. Each character has different moves, and when you deal enough damage, you can click this button, which essentially inject concentrated crack steroid into your character and make you go demon mode. You're basically f if your enemy pops it and you don't have yours ready. To be honest, all you need to do is find a character you like, get some combo online, land an M1, and leave the rest to the muscle memory, and enjoy the cutscene. Combos can be escaped by dashing while ragdolling, but this has a cooldown. So pro tip, you can use your M1 combo to bait their ragdoll cancel. Works 90% of the time. Also, if you're lucky, some people just don't know how to do this. So just hope that your opponent is bad and not someone who... 天上天下, 唯我独尊,
Murasaki. That's bannable, by the way. This guy is basically budget Saitama. Instead of properly doing that scuffed training routine, he did half the reps and skipped leg day. Unfortunately, we're not in the anime. We're in a video game that is balanced and fun. So no, you can't just one punch your way out of your problems. The only thing I can say is this motherfucker's lung capacity is on par with Eminem. Cause he sneezes like 10 middle-aged dads combined. The problem with this character is he doesn't have any range. So much like my jogging session at 3am in the morning from yesterday, you're your opponent's most likely gonna act like that woman that was running behind. It was very hard to catch up to her. I think me training earnestly even at that time of the day really motivated her. So much so she started screaming. So I started screaming too. To compensate for your lack of range, your ultimate bar charges twice as fast. And for it, you get four single-use moves, most of which can one-shot people. You need to choose wisely, because under certain circumstances, some are better than others. And if you're fighting against someone in serious mode, you should just run away. Until he gets annoyed of chasing your ass and uses table flip or serious punch, which can be dodged pretty easily. Here's the combo. Sadly, it's not one punch, it's uh, 28 punches, I counted. It's the budget Garo, a very stereotypical of a guy named Hunter, he will beat the living shit out of you. He's a gentleman who won't break your heart, he breaks your bones, all 128 of them. Much like the strongest hero, he doesn't have any ranged attacks or gap closer, so staying the fuck away usually counters them pretty hard. However, you must remember, you may like your personal space, but the hero hunter players like your personal space even more, so oftentimes they will jump you, leaving you no time to run away and give you loads of unconsensual fisting in matters of seconds. Here's how they do that. This is a sweaty ass combo, and you gotta make sure that they don't have the ragdoll cancel. To play as the hunter, you will need a good computer, since in order to combo ragdoll people, you need high frame rates. That doesn't change the fact that this game is still very skill based, because after all, having money is a skill too. Also, I swear, some of these fuckers can read minds, bro. They're like those generic webtoon regressors, but instead of regressing in solo leveling clones, they get regressed in strongest battleground like how the f can you time your counter right every single f***ing time Genos, if he wasn't f***ing useless. The firefighters of this world are employed solely because of this guy. He's clearly the favorite child of the devs because he's got all the cool moves. The gameplay feels like f***ing armor core, bruh. Actually, technically that's not wrong, so... He's got pretty much everything. Ranged attacks, combo extenders, dashes, jumps. He's probably got a Swiss knife in his arms. Maybe also a launchable dispenser. You will love this character if you're a Peroxide Quincy player who likes your steak charred and soaked in blood. The only down downside is that most of your attacks can be blocked. So again, someone who's not dog shit at the game, if your only quality in life is being a pesky little runner, there's nothing you can do. Unless you learn this combo. Just because you have a lot of ranged options doesn't mean you don't kick ass in CQC. This character is perfect for bowling noobs who haven't learned how to press F. Speedo Spandex Sanic, the slippery little bastard who goes around kill stealing. His entire kit seems to be built for this. Motherfucker even has an execution bonus that allows you to GTFO after you kill steal. People hate this character, and that's why I like it. How else am I supposed to inflate my kills on the leaderboard and feel good about myself? By giving out to this combo, I will probably unleash a new swarm of vultures out in the wild. But who cares? I'm getting views. Basically, you run around, do your combo, f**k off, and try to not get hit in the balls. It's the guy with the baseball bat, I forgot his name. He's the perfect character for the masochist out there, cause your ultimate bar gets filled by taking damage. Play this if you're the kind of guy fighting his demons and goes around saying shits like, Oh, pain gives me more power. All jokes aside though, he's probably the best character for beginners. His fourth M1 doesn't knock back the target, he can deflect projectiles, and his ultimate has a one-shot counter. What more can you ask for? Anyways, here's the combo. He's like Cannondor, born to ball, forced to brawl. He's based off Atomic Samurai. Essentially, he's some random weeb who f***s around and found out that with a sword that is sharp enough, you can slice an atom and make it nuclear fission. Oppenheimer and Heisenberg are crying right now. Anyways, he plays like Metal Gear Rising. Basically, Jetstream Sam if he had a bonkai. Here's the combo. Be the storm that is approaching. Set your heart ablaze. 
It's Bochi the Gojo, the Nah Edwin guy. Basically, the admin character that you use in your private server when you feel salty because your friend clapped your ass and you wonder why no one wants to play fighting games with you. Strongest Battleground has a very diverse and inclusive player base populating its servers. We got the noobs. Everyone loves them because they're free kills. Can't combo, can't block, can't dodge, no bitches. They're like the NPCs that sort of fight back in this game. There's the swipers, the kill-stealing Sanic player who stand on the sideline waiting for people to get low so they can swoop in for the kill. <laughs> kill yourself. They work smart, not hard. However, their kills may be many, but their skills are none. The third wills are also a very common specimen. It's the guy who sees two people fighting and hop in the action without asking because he's either a sociopath or a psychopath. The teamers. That's me. I play Centurion in For Honor. I gank. What do you expect? The team killers. That's also me. I mean, I play Genos. If you're in the blast radius, that's your fault. Stop running into my punches. What do you mean I dealt more damage to you than the guy you're fighting? Friendly fire? Nah, I'm just deleting that general direction. Sometimes, you'll encounter a smurf. I'm just putting this out here. Smurfing or pretending to be weak when you're strong is a symptom of narcissistic personality disorder. Don't mind me, I'm just casually dropping the mental illness bomb on people. So yeah, the next bacon you're trying to fry might just start using multi-speed explosion attack the moment you land an M1 on them. There's also the guy with no enemies. I don't know what they're doing here, they're just chatting and having fun. Holy sh**. Sorry we don't do that here. This is not Brookhaven. Not to be confused with the guy with no enemies. There's the guy with no enemies. This guy's got no enemies because he's got none left. He will indiscriminately commit systematic genocide. Finally, there's the rankers. They try hard in ranks. Okay, now here we go. This is insane. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. I tell you what, I, I might would, I might kill myself if, if somebody made that on me. Enough said. There's no end game. Only very bored people who have committed a minor amount of senseless slaughter. You're so bored in fact that you start picking up trash cans and throw them at people for no reason just so they get mad at you so you can beat them up. You game with your performance tab open at all time and yell at your family for watching YouTube short because it increased your pin by 10 milliseconds. You may have played ranked and has gotten pretty far on the leaderboard but nobody knows because they can't see your rank in the main game. You wander around without purpose, waiting for Tatsumaki to come out so there's finally a woman in this godforsaken <laughs> game. Anyways, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, and comment, eh? Or I will use you as the training dummy.